Third time. What keeps happening every time? Another war. They lose more land. Because why? Who's Israel's best BFF? Oh. We are. Even if we don't go fight there, what? We don't lose Weapons. All of the stuff that they need, everything. Everything, everything. You see? Israeli territory before the Six Day War, held by Israel after the Six Day War. Go ahead. Oh, go back. I don't know if you're noticing. Go back. The Sinai Peninsula. The entire Sinai Peninsula is what color? Orange. That's what they took. That's what they took. Is that still possession of Israel right now? No. It is not. Because somebody, some world power convinced them to give the Sinai Peninsula back. And why didn't Israel want to give it back? You attacked us. We fought a war against you and took this possession. What wars are ever fought that you have to, what? Give back what you fairly won in a war. So a lot of the things in Israel, people are like, we actually should have way more. We were generous when we gave back the Sinai Peninsula. Go ahead after the Six Day War. Then the Yom Kippur War, same thing, more and more and more. Egypt and Syria attacked Israel on the Jewish holiday. Go ahead. Prime Minister Menachem Begin and Egyptian President Anwar Sadat met in the US to discuss peace. He's going to die for it. Anwar Sadat is going to shake hands with the Israeli Prime Minister and he's going to pay for it with his life. Go ahead. Why? Uh, Camp David Accords. Jimmy Carter, why does he have to pay for it with his life? What did he do that nobody that is Muslim or Arab does? Made peace with Israel. He made peace with Israel. Go ahead, Camp David Accords. He has a military parade not long after. And these people, there's this nice place where the president sat. All of these people were on a big truck, all of these soldiers, and they jumped off and they went running toward him with guns. And he was laughing and clapping when they went. Open fire. Why was he laughing and clapping? He thought, he he thought what? He thought yeah, yeah, he thought they were doing, doing some sort of skit like thing or something like that. When in reality, they opened fire and he was assassinated. Go ahead. Why did they kill him? Because he made peace with Yep. Um, so this is called the Intifada. There's one in 87. I think there's one in 2003. Again, they call it Al-Nakba. Like if you ever want to have that as an EBD, Al-Nakba, N-A-K-B-A, is um, the catastrophe. That's what it means. And the catastrophe was that Israel became a country and then defeated them in 1948 and took all of their land. Uh, so the Intifada, um, they're literally walled in and guarded by Israel and the IDF and they have water, they have a coastline, they have literally no way to get supplies in and out, so people are actually fighting with sticks and stones, anything and everything to fight back, because what? It's mine, it's mine, it's mine, I don't care how many times you come here and sit on top of my desk, what? That never makes it not mine. It is always mine, and I will fight for it, and my kids will fight for it, and my great grandkids will fight for it. It is always ours. It has always been ours. Go ahead. And what did you say? Oh, no, it's always been ours. It's our Jerusalem, the Western Wall, the Wailing Wall. That's us. 2,000 years ago, King Solomon. I remembered it was Solomon. Go ahead. Oh, Oslo Accords. Saw direct talks between Israel and the PLO, the Palestinian leader. <laughs> Mendoza. Man wearing. Oh, thank you. Sorry. <laughs> Led by Israel's Prime, Prime Minister Yitzhak Rabin and Arafat of the PLO. Again, Palestinians are shaking hands with? With whom? Israel. Prime Minister, go ahead. Israel agreed to allow Palestinians in Israel a degree of self-rule, and the PLO agreed to stop violence against Israel. Go ahead. The Oslo Accords were designed to eventually create separate Palestinian state Arafat and Rabin were shared the Nobel Prize for their efforts. Go ahead. What? Screw you, Rabin. Now who gets killed? The Israeli Prime Minister for making peace with the Palestinians. And he's assassinated for his troubles. Go ahead. 
The new Camp David Summit held hopes for peace, but conflict erupted, and as you know today, there's no peace. Go ahead. Wait, go back. George Bush, same thing. Everybody's always what? Trying to solve Mitty's peace. Why can't it be solved? Everybody promised same land to different people. Go ahead. Okay. Palestinians elected Hamas. Go ahead. Terrorism again. And therefore what? The world said it's not acceptable. Go ahead. Israel's building a wall. They are not building a wall. They have built a wall. Guess where they built a wall? <laughs> this is Israel. <laughs> what? Around Israel. And where is it now? Where is that now? Israel. In Israel. It was his Palestinian home for all of time, and now what? Oh, hey. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, they built. <laughs> so awkward. <laughs> they built the wall around Palestinian territories. There are super highways. There are super highways. Watch. Here's Israel. Here's a Palestinian settlement that this day are still being built. Palestinian settlement here like this. And then this is all still Palestinian territory. They have a huge super highway that's really, really high up with walls on both sides. So that they can what? Go into that, that territory and then back out. Who's only allowed on it? Israelis, right? Unbelievable. So uh, they have built this wall. It's still a mess. It'll continue to always be a mess. Go ahead. Obama, still a mess. Uh, this is Netanyahu. Netanyahu was the prime minister with Obama. And now, Netanyahu is the prime minister again. Right? It keeps being him. Guess who he's BFFs with? Donald Trump. What does that mean? Wait, what? Way to the right, way, way conservative. So what does he say about the Palestinian territories? Screw, Screw those people. They send one missile, they kill one Jew, what? We We're killing a hundred. Do you understand? The United States is BFFs with Palestine or with Israel? Israel. Israel. Guess what news we get here? Oh, a Jew was killed in attacks by the Palestinians. What is not told here? 150 other Palestinians were, were killed right after. What do we never get to know? That second part. Go ahead. Trump uh, ordered the U.S. Embassy moved to Jerusalem. Of course, Netanyahu, thrilled. He's thrilled about that. It has made massive, major conflict. It was not part of Israel, um, a part of Jerusalem. And so this caused a huge conflict in the, with the Palestinians. Go ahead. That's pretty cool, though. Go back. What are we looking at? Art on the wall, on the Palestinian side of the wall. What are they done? Painted cool stuff. Look at this one. I used to be the Berlin Wall. They had better beer there. Go ahead. Cambodia. Okay, we've already done it. What do we know? Pol Pot, Pol Pot, Pol Pot. Why is one of the most deadly? Yeah. It's not how many he killed, but the percent of his own country. Like a third of the people of his own country he killed. Nobody had killed that many of their own people. He made them all be what? He emptied the cities. Made them all go where? To the countryside as farmers, farmers. Farmers. I told you about my friend Ninja Chen, right? Yes, that she had to flee? Yes. They were making farmers, same thing. They move all the farmers. If you were a teacher, you were lucky if you made it to the countryside as a farmer. More likely what? Killed. Killed. Um, France granted Cambodia its independence. The nation tried to avoid conflict in neighboring Vietnam War, but failed. 
anti-US feelings, yeah. Okay, so here's what you have to know. Um, at the beginning of our course, I'm almost positive at the beginning of our course, I have to double check. In 1200, Vietnam was called Khmer, the Khmer Kingdom, K-H-M-E-R. Do you understand? They were called the Khmer Kingdom. And so they, they might have been called Khmer Rouge for all I know. Uh, I think this is a French word, isn't it? Yeah. Right. So um, the Khmer Kingdom, say they literally called themselves the Khmer Rouge because they are Khmer. That's what Vietnamese people are. Right? So that's a good EBD if you know about that part of the Khmer. Go ahead. Yep. Um, he led by Pol Pot wanted to return Cambodia to year zero by eradicating all Western influence. That's the part you have to know. Right? Communist, communist, communist. Go ahead. And it's called the Killing Fields. Did you guys write that down the other day? Mm -hmm. It's called the Killing Fields. And they found all of these people. They now think it's 33%. They think it's one out of every three people was killed. Go ahead. Vietnam invaded Cambodia and helped. Go ahead. To overthrow Pol Pot. And then now today what? Democratic. Probably capitalist for the most part. Go ahead. Indian Pakistan. We did it. What did we did? What do you have to know about the migration? Migration. Who went where? Hindus went from East and West Pakistan to India, and Muslims went to East and Muhammad Ali Jinnah. Muhammad Ali Jinnah, too. And then what happened in between? Massacres during this massive migration. Massacres between the Muslims and the Hindus. Um, what did Gandhi want? Who was assassinated? What? Well, I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. Anybody looks like this, what? Then that's good. We don't care about your religion. We just care that you are native to India. Go ahead. Uh-huh. 1947. Okay, here's, a, here's what we decided in the other class. Um, 12 million, right? It's not 500,000, so we just decided to make it 10%. That's how you're gonna remember it. During these, these sep, uh, uh, migration amongst the partition, it's called the Partition of India Migration. Have we got it? That's what it's called. Indian Partition Migrations. So the easiest way is just to remember that it was 12 million that were migrating and 10% of them were killed. 10% equals what? 1.2 million. Are we good? Go ahead. And then um, what about Kashmir? Right, now they want independence, but the problem is, is they were all Muslim, but ruled by Hindu or India. Uh, Pakistan and India remain bitter enemies today. Go ahead. Women in power, this is cool. I don't know this lady. I'm never going to know this lady. I don't know if you need to know this lady. Go ahead. Cool, it's cool, it's cool. It's not going to make the cut on your test. So, in Indira Gandhi, though, is very, 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 very famous. Famous, famous, famous. Here's how you're going to remember her. Take the R away. What does it say? India. India Gandhi. Got it? Put it down. Indira Gandhi, 1966, became the leader of India. The daughter of India's first prime minister, Nehru. You probably have to know about Nehru, too, that he was the first prime minister. But in India, such forward-thinking people, uh, several women prime ministers. Way ahead. When have we had a woman president? Never. Never. Very forward thinking. Go ahead. So uh, even if you, what if you write, if it's like a DBQ or an EBD and you put India Gandhi, in, Gandhi instead? Okay. They're gonna give it to you, that you know. And here's what you have to know, go ahead. Uh, she was successfully strengthened India's economy, she fought corruption, and she managed the tensions with P Pakistan, and she became one of the most well-loved leaders of India. She's the, the granddaughter, or daughter, what did I say? Daughter. Daughter, daughter of Nehru, the first prime minister, and she fought corruption. She did great with the economy. She is famous, famous, famous. So even if you have to remember her as India Gandhi, fine, right? If you remember to put the R before the A, perfect. Go ahead. 1966. And then, of course, what? Go ahead. Oh, here's why. Look at her body's bodyguards were Sikh. And the Punjab wanted independence. They wanted to have their own self-determination, their own country, literally, probably, the country of Punjab, what? She said no, and her bodyguards killed her. Isn't that crazy? Her bodyguards killed her, because they are um, Sikh. Go ahead. 
Also, Benazir Bhutto in Pakistan, which is amazing. I mean, it's a Muslim country. And then a woman became prime minister. Her father also served, becoming the first female leader of a majority Muslim country. Go ahead. Always what? Go ahead. Uh, Tanzania. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys have to care about? Kenya. Jomo Kenyatta. Ghana. Kwame. Nkrumah. How many of you, even if you can't write it down, if you see it on the mobile choice, you're going to go, oh, Nkrumah. Nkrumah. Um, I assume they'll say Kwame Nkrumah because it's easier for me to remember Kwame in Ghana, but I'm sure that they should say that. Go ahead. I mean, it's all about independence, right? It's just independence movements. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Socialist policies. Obviously, that's not going to go well. Go ahead. Migration from newer to older countries. Oh, this is the part that I said that I loved. That the British Prime Minister, what? Is literally, I think, first generation or something. The people that were colonized, what? Are migrating to the place that colonized them. They have migration issues because all the people are going back. It's amazing. Go ahead. I love it. From Pakistan, India, and Bangladesh, it moved to London, 12%. Go ahead. People from Vietnam and Algeria going to French. They were French. Go ahead. They were colonized by the French. They, of course, go back because they learned their language. And what language? The language of their colonizers. So then when they wanted to go be somewhere not their country, obviously what? Uh, migration continues to strengthen economic cultural ties between former colon colonies and former colonial powers. Is this where we stopped in the other one? The world mothering. Is it 407? No, 367. Okay. Oh. Come on, 40, 40 slides. Oh,